It feels nice to be like so healthy watching this now. I know. Like we've sort of still been a bit ill the last two times and now I feel okay. <laughs> yeah. This is the healthiest I've felt in weeks watching Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> Say that in 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm sad that we're so close to not having this opening anymore. I know. I'm sad because I really enjoy this opening. <laughs> Why do you do that? <laughs> Why not? I hate that the description said there was like a threat from within and I'm just like, is that Neo or is it a Or is it someone else? Yeah. Because yeah. Neo is the kind of obvious one for me, but I who know. knows? We have two episodes left so there could be like a complete... Yeah. What if the real traitor this whole time was Maria? <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? I doubt it. I don't know. She's not been there. She's too involved. honest. She'd be yeah. like, I'm here to betray all of you. Yeah. And but then they would be like, do. oh, haha, Maria. <laughs> oh, God, we're going to get the team up, of the dream team of Clover, Crow, and Robin fighting Tyrion. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's boys' time. I love how they didn't put Clover in here, but they put these two did. Yeah. Your eyes open them wide, wide as fuck. I'm so fucking anxious. <laughs> Have we ever not said that <laughs> in one of these episodes? True. Oh, so we start in here. Yes, oh. I've seen a tiny clip from this. That's, but. Oh, <gasps> oh bitch! I was wondering how he was gonna <gasps> use. <gasps> this it's is cool. So Iron Daddy. Oh. <gasps> she. He, is he gonna try and escape though, or is it? Is he gonna oh try my and murder Iron? Wow, camera. <laughs> yes. <gasps> oh, memories. <laughs> this is so insane. I love it. Oh, oh. bitch. He's got a lot of aura though, right? I thought that said Iron <laughs> but it's I would die. This is so good. I need to listen to this music. This is definitely Man. not someone we've heard on the soundtrack before. This is sound good. like Jeff. No. <laughs> Jeff's doing the backing vocals. Yeah, it's good. This must be an Ironwood song. This is amazing. Why did he say 10? He's been counting down from 18. <laughs> What's he doing? God, the animation and camera movement is everything. <gasps> oh, yourself bitch, up, just like Ninja so Warrior. <laughs> Like how Ironwood gets like a punk song. <gasps> Aura! Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> His aura's gone though. If he hits him, he dies. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh no, it's gone, gone now. <gasps> Why you got me such a drama queen? <laughs> Bitch, I literally can't. Bitch. This is so good. I gave you everything you could have wanted. You chose that fat imbecile over me. Yeah, because you're insane. <laughs> get him, James! Get him! <laughs> he still has his aura, though. Instance, my brains and your brawn are evenly matched. You're smart. But you're not the only one who can count. Oh, 
Oh, bitch, that was cool. Don't rip your arm off. Oh my god, <gasps> please. That was a little too close for my liking, James. Rebuilding those rings is going to be such a pain. Now, it's burning if you'll excuse me. Shoot him, James. Do it, Dad. I, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I mean, unless you're hoping to add more metal to that body of yours. Oh, baby. Oh god, he ripped his arm off. What? Oh no, it's still there. It's just really floppy. <laughs> oh my god! Drop him. Drop oh. him! <laughs> He's so beyond. I will sacrifice whatever it takes. He's been. To stop I think he will need a new arm, to be honest. It looks he will. fucked. <laughs> Oh, I hope you do, James. I hope you do. Say goodbye. No! <laughs> You're under arrest. Okay, like he's ever gonna take this part seriously. But how are these three actually gonna work together? <laughs> I think quite well. I don't know. But the problem is that Tyrion's... See? They've already snuck up on him. Oh, bitch. <laughs> See, they've got a real good advantage because she's long distance. Mm, yeah, but Clover is short distance and he's defense. Yes, but Tyrion is Tyrion. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Hail fucking- Oh no, he's oh, activated no. his <gasps> semblance. <laughs> like I said, oh my God. if he cuts one person's <laughs> wee bit of damage, wee bit of damage. I'm literally, my heart can't take it. He always likes to punch Terry in those girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit, man! This is why you shouldn't be so insane. Can you kick him in the face? Yes. Yes! <laughs> Where's that smile now? This is Clover, requesting Can prisoner you... transport. He's too close, I don't like it. <laughs> oh, baby, he's in a sling. We have Tyrion Kalos in custody. Um, I don't like how quiet this is. Who the fuck? <laughs> it's gonna be Cinder. <laughs> or Salem. Oh no, what if it's Salem? Yes, sir. Was anyone caught trying to enter the school grounds while I was away? N no. They might have, like, hacked into his desk. Sure. Still afraid, I see. Uh, Cinder! Now show me where you've been hiding her. Well, I think she might have been looking in the computer for the yeah. maiden's location. Affirmative. Ooh, everybody's coming up to understand. Atlas. Why would the general call us back without giving a reason? Especially with evacuation still going on in Mantle. You don't have to understand orders, kids. You just have to follow them. Bish. City transports won't be stopping anytime soon. The general Where's Blake and Yang? Needs us now. He needs us now. Yeah. You all get to the general and find out what's happening. We'll bring Oscar and see you soon. Don't like it. They didn't show them at all, which is like telling that they might not be there. Oh, thank God. Oh. <laughs> General Ironwood, we're on a different ship. We have made a critical error. Oh, fuck. She literally left the, the calling piece. Salem showed us before we lost everything. Her way of telling us she was inside. Yet it was too late. We stopped Watts. We stopped Kalos, but someone was here. They put this in my office to tell me that it... What if Mantle was just a distraction? What if it was just to draw us away from the academy to... to... Sir, it's going to be okay. 
We've got Mantu on our side now, and how do we know that wasn't part of their plan? How do we know they didn't want us to bring people oh into Atlas by the Angel. thousands? In trying to save everyone, oh. we left ourselves most vulnerable. Yep. Salem has it is been called one gravity. step ahead of us <laughs> this entire time. Shit. It's glass. <gasps> it's cinder the yeah. left, for sure. It's black glass. This was cinder. She's alive? And she's here? Oh, she's furious. If Cinder's here, then for all we know, Hazel's here too. Sir, this isn't over yet. We're with you. 100% of the way. Promise. Are you with me? <laughs> or are you? Neo. <laughs> Sir? <laughs> it's me, Neo. <laughs> Fuck. How did Robin know? about the global communications project. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we told her. The night of the ambush. You did what? We were trying to help. By going behind our backs? Wait. <laughs> Does that mean you let her escape? Robin is on our side. She always has been. We didn't know that. What is in that fucking None bag? This matters right now. <laughs> Loyalty <laughs> always matters. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> no! Fuck! <laughs> Ew. So she is kind of here. Oh my god, she's inside it. She's gonna fucking burst out. <laughs> what? No, it's gonna be like a. Oh. The brave huntsman and huntress's bested Arthur was. Congratulations. I want to fucking die. <laughs> and we'll stop Cinder and anyone else you try to send here. Cinder? Dear girl, <laughs> their goal was never victory. It was merely to set the stage. For what? The fall of Atlas. For me. Are you? Okay. Time isn't on your side, James. It's always been on us. And Salem's so extra. The people of Atlas oh, to be that have extra. suffered enough. Surrender the staff and the lamp to me, and they needn't suffer any further. No! <laughs> no, don't do it. Ho, oh, don't do it. Not going to happen. Good. Please don't die. Simply accept the futility of your situation. And this can all be over. Stop looking soft. We've seen what you're capable of. The lamp showed us. <laughs> Fuck. Rivy. It showed us everything. <laughs> I honestly could throw we've up. We've seen that you can't be killed. <laughs> but we've also seen you fail. We don't have to kill you to stop you. She's gonna tentacle and this we shit. Will stop you. Your mother said those words to me. Ah uh, no! <laughs> My mother? I want to die. <laughs> she was wrong too. Eyes. Get out of her head, you dick. Somebody please comfort so Ruby. Much. So much. But we have more Summer Rose information. That's Salem? That's who we're up against? And she's apparently on her way. But we'd be alerted if any forces had approached the kingdom. We have long-range proximity alarms all along the coast and- They're offline. With all of the chaos, we didn't notice. Watts must have shut them down. Or they've already been destroyed. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> it's all her monkeys. Her gorilla boys. Well, they can fly, mm -hmm. so they're gonna fuck up Atlas. All of them? You said in your speech that Amity Tower was ready to launch. Was that true? <laughs> no. 
<laughs> nope. No. You just said that to lure out Watts. Yep. General Ironwood? Oh god. I've sent your sister to claim the power of the Winter Maiden. Oh my god, and Neo's there. <laughs> no, she's not, she's with Oscar. We couldn't wait any longer. The Sender will be there. Have to be locked away. I want to die. I Did want I... to die. You said we could keep it. Well, that was before you lied to me about the lamp. Before you lied to us about Robin, before Salem was right on our doorstep. Before Mantle was nearly destroyed, and myself and my army were left exhausted. I literally can't cope with this. <laughs> the timeline has changed, and so we must change accordingly. What are our orders, sir? We are going to take our plan for Amity Tower and apply it to the city of Atlas. What? It was Oz's plan in a former life, but he didn't take it far enough. Couldn't make Atlas fly <laughs> very far. And raise ourselves high into the atmosphere. The city's artificial climate will keep citizens and food supplies unharmed, always out of reach of whatever Salem may try to send our way. But we're nowhere near finished evacuating everyone. You'd be leaving Mantle to die. Yes, I would. We can't allow Salem to capture the relics. This is Why our best chance. Why is baby? This is <laughs> the worst and thing. As far away from her as possible. But we have an opportunity to reunite the world. If we launch the tower, we can all work together again. We could even call for help. If we can hold out long enough. Sometimes doing the right thing means making tough decisions. You're right. Oh. And I think the right thing to do would be to stand our ground. Me too. Me too. Me too. Uh, Aesop's? You gonna say anything? Gee. They won't though, because they take orders. We ran ourselves ragged trying to save Mantle tonight. We try that again against an even larger force. But your huntsmen and huntresses! You can't just back down from a fight! You can't focus oh on my one god, single she sounds fight so desperate. I hate it. War. What's the council going to say? Nothing. Fuck the Once council. I declare martial law. No! No. What about Robin? Who exactly are you loyal to? We're loyal to the people counting on us to save them. We are saving who we can. Don't like it. <laughs> and you're standing in our way. Oh, God. <sighs> She's gonna fuck shit up, man. It's John. We've got a serious problem. What? 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 Do not cut this episode right now. What the fuck just happened? Clover, what are you gonna do about that one? Fucker. No! I'm sorry it's come to this. It's gonna arrest them. But until Atlas and the relics are safe, you are all under arrest. Yep. We won't just let you take us. Oh god. Marilyn's Yo. so upset about it. Y'all, they were all traitors all along! But no, no, they're not! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Y'all! They literally are just loyal to Are they gonna Iron cut Lips. it here? Ruby, are you there? Yes. Ruby! Did you tell them? Oscar, where are you? <laughs> Neo's done a lot by kidnapping. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> You can't just leave. Stand up. <laughs> you can't just leave like Oscar did. <laughs> really? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> well. Oh my god. That was a time. My back's sore. <laughs> I'm stuck. Stress, straining, like my whole body's tight. See, when I say I could be sick, mm -hmm. I mean it. I, I get you. I, I could literally I feel it. throw up right now. You know, though, it was always kind of head in this way. I know. 
I didn't want it to be like this. Like all the little pieces were put in place along the road <laughs> to take us to this point. Ugh, next week's gonna be great. <laughs> I can't believe we need to wait a whole week. A whole week. <laughs> <laughs> you're too weak to wait a week. <laughs> you look like you're about to cry from stress. I think I'm about to have a panic attack. Don't do That's that. That's the feeling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was not. It was I'm not. Just do man, Ironwood can be so intimidating when he like turns it that way. Like he Honestly, just... like that's what makes him a good general in like a military sense is that he can be so intimidating. You, you know that. he can kick your ass. <laughs> yeah, but like seeing it like that was the worst thing I've seen. Yeah, also on the back of him like having just like totally went berserker on Watts, like destroyed his other arm to kill Watts. Like, man's, <laughs> man's dangerous. <laughs> But, yeah, I'm not surprised we're here. I'm gonna guess that Salem's monkey boys are on the way. Because the border defences are gone. Although, I don't think Cinder has been in contact with Salem. So, Cinder is is doing this completely on her own own back. Uh Like, so it's just, it is playing into Salem's hands. Yeah. Cinder obviously is wanting to take Salem's symbol and like make it her own and that's why she left it the way that she did mm. now the now the question is like what is everyone going to do because Ruby did manage to get that message out that Iron would declare in martial law and he's abandoning Mantle yeah so <laughs> that went to Crow Robin Clover Winter Penny mm. Jean Ren and Nora yeah so now it's going to be like kind of I mean they can't really do anything their thing's gonna be Oscar, like team. Yeah. The remainder of team Junior. Juniper. Yeah. Team Junior is Junior. currently <laughs> dealing with that. Okay. Yeah, because it's Junior. Okay. Yeah. Um. So they're kind of preoccupied with that. That's fine. But then you've got the important five. Yeah, but the question is like, who's has Neo taken Oscar then? Presumably. That's what it looks like. Yeah. And then that looks like a mean fight. Yes. Like, did you see that room? But Oscar's gone. Yeah. So, which something bad's means happened. <laughs> that he's been able to like stand his ground and escape, mm-hmm. or Ozpin's come back to help him fight against Neil. And Neil's dead. And he's escaped. I just don't think Neil was dead. No, I feel like we would have seen Neil die. She was yeah. gonna die in the show. Yeah. If Os- uh, Ozpin came back, she would have done her shoo mm-hmm. thing and disappeared. Um, but he would have pursued her, potentially. Yeah, and then to we've stop got her. we've got Robin, Clover, and Crow taking Tyrion up. Yep, an alive Tyrion, but an arrested Tyrion. Yeah, who looked very satisfied with the fact that everything's falling apart. Of course, it's his gem. It's <laughs> chaos. It's just like his Darling. queen causing chaos. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The they're gonna have a big choice to make i yeah, mean robin will never want to ma- as well yeah. like winter needs to decide if she's actually gonna take the sorry. winter maiden powers can we try and stay I'm sorry I'm i know you want to bounce everywhere I, I know i don't have a coherent thought process i know process. so it's let me palming. take us there okay, okay. <laughs> let's stick at one thing at a time okay so um, i'm just gonna be here sipping my up okay <laughs> um yeah robin will not in any occasion will she abandon the people of Mantle? I don't even know if her huntresses are up in Atlas. They might still be helping to evacuate people. I think they're probably still helping to evacuate people because they're known by the people of Mantle. Yeah, and also they said that's say right at the start of this episode that Ironwood had called them up, like to the academy. So presumably they were probably gonna go back down and keep evacuating, which means there's probably still quite a lot of people to be evacuated. Yeah, that's what they said, is yeah. that they haven't evacuated everybody. Yeah, but it could be quite a lot of people. Exactly. Because they were planning to go back down. Um, yeah, that's a yikes. Uh, and now Clover is in a very awkward position, because what is he going to decide? <laughs> He's yeah. the head of the Aesops. Like, is he going to go martial law? He, he cannot go tail to tail. To tail. Terry, I'm thinking. Toe to toe with um, Robin and Crow, I don't think. No. 
But I don't think he would want to. No, but either. they're in an airship. <laughs> they're in an airship. They need to make a decision and it needs to be a fast one because if they show that they're not in control, then Terry will take advantage of that and try and overpower them to escape. Yeah. So I can... they need to <laughs> yeah. fix it. Yeah. <laughs> they're not and... gonna though. And I can totally because all I all I keep thinking is how volume seven and eight are the most connected volumes. Which means we're going to be left deeply unsatisfied with however Volume 7 ends because all the plot threads are going to continue into Volume 8. And I this is where it's going. <laughs> my nerves are so <laughs> shot that I need at least 12 drinks to yeah. fix myself. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't. I, I, get, I always kind of suspected that the stuff with Robin and Blake and Yang would eventually come back, but I didn't know if it was going to be this extreme. But it, but obviously, no. like piled together with them having not said anything about the lamp and whatnot, it's all kind of combined into this. Mm-hmm. Because I can see who the directors are for this. I just want to say like a huge shout out. <laughs> oh, your camera work, my dudes. Yeah, like <laughs> to Paula and Carrie, like. What an amazing episode <laughs> because I felt what they were feeling. <laughs> yeah, that anxiety. I'm, I'm, I'm not involved, but that it just shows that it was written amazingly by Miles and Carrie and directed perfectly yeah. by Carrie and Paula and the whole team. Okay, we're just going to keep just, going. You're just going to list up. Would you want me yeah. to play the credits and you can just. Let's just <laughs> thank everybody. But, like, especially to. Yeah, we got it. The, the voice <laughs> actors and that song that they played as well. Oh yeah, that's so new, good. That's a new boy. Yeah, new, new new voice there. I can't wait to hear that properly. I wonder if it's an it Ironwood was, song. I think so. Yeah, like yeah. It's like just Ironwood specific, probably. Yeah. It was perfect. Yeah, he gets the punk rock song. He he deserves the punk rock song. <laughs> I I have no. I know that Team Ruby will not be able to beat the Aesops though. Like. Yeah, but they might just bust the window. That's what I think they're gonna do. Is that they're gonna? Because the thing is, the Aesops know what they're capable of, and vice versa. So, like, they're not gonna be surprised by much. But if Team Ruby do something very quick that just ejects them out the window, I feel like that's most likely what they'll try and do. Because Ruby can take people into her petal thing, can't she? She can. Or yeah. Weiss could um, do the glyph thing. Do like a big ice wall really quickly. Yeah. Something like that that's mm-hmm. like very quick and gives them just like a tiny bit of time to shoot backwards. Yeah. Because I don't know if, what the Aesops are going to think they're going to do. Um, has Oscar? Oscar has the relic. Yes, he, he does. <laughs> um, Fucker. Yeah. Um, and then obviously the other relic. We don't know what's happening with that in the vault. I can't believe Oscar's disappeared again. Loves doing that. <laughs> Favorite. I think this time it's a bit more dramatic though than last time. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh. Yeah. It's, I don't know. Marrow looked really torn about it, which I thought yeah. he probably would be because he does actually really like. He's them. also younger. I think they all he, do, but yeah. But the other ones are older and they've kind of been involved in this a little bit longer, so they know that it's just follow orders and do your job. Whereas Marrow's just kind of. He gives me the feeling that he's only been in it like he's a couple rookie. months. He's the rookie. He's the newbie. Uh-huh. Yeah. So he's like, he's having conflict with his feelings. He knows that he needs to follow orders, but he likes these people and he knows that they're trying to do a good job. So yeah. he's and probably going to hang back how, a little bit. As a faunus, I don't know how, how like he'll be probably a wee bit more conflicted about leaving Mantle because I think most of Mantle's... Faunus. Well, more of the... We've seen that more of the Mantle population is faunus yeah. than Atlas, yeah, I don't know that there's many faunus actually in actually Atlas. in Atlas. Yeah, maybe in Atlas Academy, but not in Atlas. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's also like a very big point of contention. So I have no idea what anyone's gonna do. I'm glad that Blake stood her ground though and was not like f- having it for a second that they would abandon Mantle. No, I'm so <laughs> for it. But Weiss's little face yeah. when she was doing the sad eyes. It was oh. just sad. I could have cried for just how sad she looked. Jesus. I could just cry anyway. Yeah. <laughs> that whole episode was tear worthy. I'm just stressed. Understandable. Yeah, Weiss's little chipmunk face. I can't deal. I can't. And she like genuinely really cares about... I mean, they all do, but I think Weiss has like a sort of special place in her heart for Ironwood particularly. Um... Yeah, so well, he kind of helped her. She'll know him for longer. Exactly. And 
Yeah, I think this will be tearing her up. And I don't know what Winter's going to do. Because Winter was going to the Winter Maiden. But she's not there yet. Because yeah. she was in the hallway with Penny. Yeah, there was a lot of information thrown about. Also, shit, this shit was summer. God, there was so much in this episode. Ah, <laughs> motherfucker. So Salem and Summer have been confirmed to have at least met. So uh, the the noise that went between when it was flashing with yeah, Ruby and in Summer, that noise alone is enough to give me <laughs> nightmares. Yeah, but now we finally know that, though, so we can presume that this is how she died. Yeah. <laughs> it's not good I, is honestly it? i feel so done in yeah but it was, it was also that. great though this has <laughs> been i think one of the best episodes i've ever seen actually oh, Ruby, yeah, so yeah. Far, yeah i honestly think that i would say hands down right now that that's my favorite episode of any volume oh no i wouldn't say that i would that i think it was just so well put together it's definitely top five Definitely yeah. top five for me, but I wouldn't say it's my favourite. <laughs> I think this one was my favourite. Fair. Yeah. Okay. I just think there was so much of everything that was just great. There was no Neo. <laughs> just... No, I know. There was an implication of Neo, though. <laughs> Is that enough? There's an implication. Um... That means 10 out of 10, Richard. Mm. <laughs> Man, you're so starved for Neo content, you'll take an implication. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you're um... so honest. We should, yeah, try and wrap we should this. just wrap this because I'm going to die. Yeah. So. But if you want to get next week's episode, which is the last episode, I think, by the time this goes up on YouTube early, then you can get it on Patreon. Wow. Ooh. I know. You don't want to miss that finale. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. Spicy, spicy. Oh. And if you do support us on Patreon, here, you're getting it early. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you for supporting us on this. I hope you enjoy <laughs> this mess. <laughs> I mean, we've had worse, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. Alright, flip side is out, babe. No. (laughs) Let's just end it.